Welcome in team to a super unique session today where we're gonna be doing standing core work and those fire numbers that we're coming in is what we're gonna be doing to our core. We are gonna heat it up and it's gonna be really unique movements with weight if you would like. So the weight is optional and it's just to add a little bit of resistance but if you feel like the movements are challenging and you wanna do it body weight, you're still gonna get a really good activation of your core. So we're gonna do 20 minutes, start to finish. Clock is not on yet. I always like to give a little bit of an intro and just let you know that I have small, medium, and heavy dumbbells on set with me. So you wanna have an assortment with you as well. Now one disclaimer, core. You wanna be really careful with your movements because our core is what supports our low back. So if at any point in this workout today, you feel like your low back is starting to talk to you like, hey, hey, drop the weight or take a break, I want you to listen to your body. So we're gonna start with a little bit of a body weight heat up. And I'm gonna start our clock right there. We got 20 minutes. Take a big deep breath in right here, lift up. Exhale, another big deep breath in. Exhale, and now bring those arms overhead and we're gonna do a wide knee march but I want it to be really intentional. So you're thinking about lifting your knees, keeping your hips stable, activating your core. So I know we do this move a lot in our low impact cardio. Today is not about speed, today is about control and really practicing for the entire 20 minutes that mind muscle connection. So keep lifting the knees in that nice steady march. <sighs> and then get ready. We're gonna take it into a wide stance. Good, so wide stance next. Again, this is a heat up. Come down into a squat, hands behind the head. And we're just gonna hit some side bends, warming up a little bit through those obliques. <sighs> Stay nice and deep. You're also gonna get a little bit of a lower body heat up today with some of these moves. And what you're doing right now is intentionally giving me a side bend using your abs, so at no point, should you feel your low back? Good, keep it up. If you wanna take it a little bit deeper for the last 15 seconds, you can add a little bit of a reach. Good, and then the last two warm-up moves, we're actually gonna use a dumbbell. Start light. Good, just a few more seconds. All right, grab a light dumbbell, and we're gonna go with a halo. And I want you to do this in a kneeling position to start. So just focusing on the upper body and the core. And you're just gonna give me a halo and a little twist side to side. So the halo is really close to your neck. The reason I have you in a kneeling position, and you can absolutely do this standing, I'll show you standing as well. The kneeling position just allows you to focus even more intently on the core. But standing is fine if your knees don't love that. Otherwise, keep going. Little bit of a twist, hit those internal obliques. Good work. All right, from here, finish two more. And we're gonna stand up. Now you can stay with your light or I'm gonna upgrade to a medium for this final set. And what I want you to do is just walk around your space, 30 seconds each side, and you're actually activating through your core. If you find that that's not enough, you can go to a heavier weight but we're just stabilizing through our abs. And again, it's just a simple walk focused on how much of that single side you activate as you're walking through your space. Now I'm staying in frame. <laughs> you can walk all around your space and you just have a heads up. You have three seconds to switch arms. Go ahead and switch now. And then just switch. So again, this is just heating up through the core. It's also bringing the attention to the fact, and I can actually face you walking up and back you can walk backwards too. It's bringing attention to the fact that when we walk around every day, activating our core is so super, super important. The heavier the weight, the more it's gonna light up and wake up your abs. But don't worry because we got a whole workout ahead coming up. And final couple seconds, 30 second break right here. Okay, I have three blocks. 
We're gonna move through these exercises super quickly. And each block has three moves, three unique moves. No combinations today, they're all single movements. We're gonna start in 15 seconds. I want you to grab a weight, heavy or medium, and we're gonna do an overhead march. So we're gonna stay in this move, we're gonna start in three seconds for 30 seconds and then we'll switch. So bring those arms overhead. Here we go. Overhead march. So bringing the knee up towards your chest, like we did in the warm up, but now we have that extra weight. Now I mentioned we're gonna move quickly and I mean it. So you take breaks as needed. I'm just gonna cruise. We're gonna be moving through each exercise and we're gonna do two sets of each. Good, getting ready to switch it up. Next move coming up, single weight still. You're gonna do a dumbbell swing. Go ahead and pause now. You have a couple seconds of transition, watch. You're gonna swing, take it wide actually. Swing, twist. Then swing, and give me that oblique twist. Nice wide stance, let's go. 30 seconds, swing, twist. So we come up and then it's by the side. Now you wanna be really controlled as you twist because always the number one important factor is mindful of your low back. <sighs> Swing up, twist to the side. My elbow brushes my side. I squeeze my obliques. Few more seconds. <sighs> Good, finish your last couple. And then take a little break, watch me. Final move of this first block. Reverse lunge and a lateral twist. 30 seconds in this move as well. Here we go. Reverse lunge, twist. Keep those hips square. A Little bit different than the last twist we did. This one I want it to be completely to the side versus a little dip. So hips stay square, transverse abdominis, side to side. Good. We have two rounds, so you get to do all those again. Don't worry. One time through is just never enough. Okay, break right here. Bring those arms back overhead. High knee march, stabilizing with that upper body. Again, 30 seconds. Get ready in three, two, one, knee march. <sighs> Drive the knees up as high as you can. I'm just gonna show you from the side. Also, notice that you naturally will squeeze your glutes behind you. <sighs> Great work, you guys. Hi, Kayla. Great to see you. Keep it up. Keep that knee march up nice and high. Good, now you can break here or finish your last couple, getting set up for the swing to twist. Starting in a few seconds. I give you 15 seconds to break, or you can simply Take extra reps and then move with us when we transition. Here we go. Swing and twist. Hi, Kristen. Good to see you. Be really controlled with this movement. Swing, twist. Now I anticipate a lot of these you maybe haven't done with the intention of core. So keep reminding yourself through this entire workout. Squeeze the core, lead with the core, activate with the core. Good, I'm gonna do two more and then we transition to third move. Transition, reverse lunge, lateral twist side to side. Begin. Hi Aspen, oh I'm loving all the drive-bys today. Stabilize, twist. I keep my weight right Stable at chest height to give me that nice resistance and rotation side to side. Great work. Perfect job, you guys. Keep it up. A few more seconds. Reps are up to you in the allotted time. I'm finishing two more. We're gonna take a little break to shake it out. Great job. Okay, break right here. If you wanna grab a sit, please do. We're gonna move into block number two. 
I knew I brought my water out here. Starting in 25 seconds and get ready. So next we have that sumo squat, but we're gonna do a weighted squat. Heavy dumbbell or medium. You're gonna be right here, so check it out. One, two, three, lift. Crunch, 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 excuse me, it's four. Four, three, two, up. Four, three, two, and then up. Alternate your sides, come with me. That lift is optional. Jump in, if you started late, jump in right here. Oh, awesome, Naomi says this is super already. Sweating already. Nice and controlled through that core. Really focused on those obliques. Nice job. I'm going a little extra on this one in case she started behind. Five seconds, please. Nice job. Break right here, make sure you're even. Okay, check it out. We're gonna take that knee march and upgrade it a little bit. So check it out. Reverse lunge, knee, lunge, switch. Come with me, alternate your legs. Lunge, knee, lunge, switch. Drive through. So I extend, crunch, extend, down. Now if the overhead gets to be too much, you still have the resistance. You can keep it right into the chest. <sighs> nice job, few more seconds. Make sure you're even. You have those 15 second transitions just to make sure you can get even reps both sides. Okay, take a quick break, couple seconds. This one is one of my favorites. So what we're gonna do is raise and give me two kicks. Then squat. You do a lateral squat each side. Come with me. Raise up. Kick right, left, squat. Now when I raise up, I go left lead. All right, official 30 seconds right here. So raise up, gives you a little target. Squat. You wanna talk about heart rate increase? Here it comes, even more and the sweat factor. Come on, 10 more seconds. This one I expect to be a little more challenging. Nice job. That's your 30 second mark. Finish your last couple. We're going back to the top. So you're gonna run them all again. 30 seconds each, and it's a loose 30 with the 15 second to transition if you wanna take it. So first move, we have wide stance sumo squat to our side bend. I gave you a little extra here. Feel the vibe. All right, you guys, three, two, one, let's begin. Crunch it. I like four, and then I lift. Lift. Good, we're gonna do a little bit of a more advanced side lift coming up in block three. So this is a little bit of a heat up. <sighs> also, my arms and the weight stay in front of my body. <sighs> and that way I'm not giving too much of an extension or extra torque on my back, right? <sighs> nice job. <sighs> Finish five more seconds and then get ready. We have our overhead Break right here, or if you're like me, finish that last one. Get ready for overhead reverse lunge to front knee. You crunch, lunge, switch. Ready? Heart rate's climbing, you got 30 seconds, let's go. Lunge, crunch, lunge, switch. Now, this is a move that you can upgrade the weight as you get stronger. I have my medium. And that's just what I'm using today. But just know, this is a workout I want you to do more often than just one time so that you can progress the moves and really get the benefit of that core activation with weight. 
Take a break here if you are already even, or if you want to even it out like me. All right, get ready. Five seconds, front raise, front kick, lateral squat, switch leads. Ready, let's go. Kick right, left. That lunge just, or excuse me, that squat just gives you a little break in between sides. I think baby girl likes this move. She's starting to wake up. <laughs> or it's the music. Keep it up. Nice job. That's your official 15 second break mark. If you want to take it or do a little extra, we're going to go into our final block team. Getting ready. Make sure you do grab a sip. You have some extra time. 30 second mark right here. And this last set, I want you to grab a medium to heavy weight. We're going to start with wood chop. So we're going to alternate sides. So check it out. You're going to come down, rotate, down, switch, down, rotate, center, switch. So we alternate the wood chop. You're in that sumo stance, but rotate by releasing the heel. Ready? 30 seconds. Core tight. Let's go. So I come down, raise up, center, switch it. You could probably afford to go to your heavier weight here. Good. And the reason I'm also confident in that is because our last two moves in this block, I'm actually gonna recommend that you grab a light to medium. Nice work. That's your 30 second mark. And you can take a little break to transition. I'm going to my light. We are gonna do a 180 to a knee lift. So you're gonna come up, two knee lifts, sweep it down. Come with me, up, two knee lifts, and sweep it down. So the reason I have so many knee lifts in here is because that is the way that you're getting that really nice standing crunch. Good, big sweep out to the side. Also, the overhead adds a little bit more heart rate boost. Keep it up. Try when you're lifting your knees not to shift your weight too much. That's the job of your core, to stabilize. All right, quick break. Last move, drop it to one. Check it out. You're gonna come overhead and then reach out and it's a kick. You can also do a knee. Come with me, we're gonna do 30 seconds each side and this is going to be a quick switch move. So remember when I mentioned we'd have a side oblique option to upgrade? You're either doing an extended leg or keeping it a side crunch. If you wanna do the knee lift for the first set and then add the kick for the second, totally fine. Three, two, one, quick switch it. I'll show you the extension on this side as well. You kick out, find the balance. Good, option, kick out. Now it's not a side push, it's not a roundhouse. It's just a nice extension. Keep it up. Perfect work, you guys. Quick little 15 second break here. And we're going back through those all. One more time. Bringing us back here. Five seconds before we start. That's my light. All right, wood chop. Here we go. Reach up, switch. Reach up, switch. Come on. You see that we're almost done with class. So I want you to really push for these last few seconds. We use all the time for the working sets, which is what I love. That way you know when I say 20 minutes standing core, it's 20 minutes of work. Good, you can end here and transition for 15 seconds or do a couple more with me. All right, we're going into sweeping 180 knee lift. Lightweight recommended, light to medium. Here we go. 
Knee lift, switch. Now this is the first time I'm doing a dedicated standing core session. That's why I have opted to do a little bit more on the lightweight side. If you like this and you're ready for more, we can upgrade it. Okay, we're gonna quick switch. You're gonna drop down to one weight, going right into that side to side crunch. One weight. Knee or kick. When I focus on balance, I take my eyes off you. I take my eyes to something I can focus on. You can also take it to a knee lift. Good work. Woo! One more and then quick switch it. I'm showing you both options just so you remember you have both. If today you feel like the straight leg's a little too much, stay with the knee. I'll tell you what, your core is still getting the work. 15 more seconds, please. Hi and wow. Hi, Joseph. I like that comment. Good, we have three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so you know I make stackable workouts, meaning if you are going to do more today, I want you to slide right into that. If you're not, then let's stay together for a couple more seconds and let's just stretch out a little bit. So take your hands behind the back. Your chest and shoulders got a little bit of work today as well as the core. Keep your abs tight, just a couple moves. And then you're gonna take one leg behind, kind of like we just finished with the last move, and give me a nice side and IT stretch. Big reach. Good, switch. Reach overhead. Very nice. Come center, I want you to grab your elbows, and I want you to tip over from the hips. And I want you to just swing back and forth and just let everything kind of release down. If you want to drop the arms, go for it. Good, land in the center. Give me a rotation each direction. Try to keep those hips stable. Good, one more each side. Nice work. This honestly will serve as a great warm up. Go ahead and roll up because it is always a good idea to activate our core. One more chest stretch before any workout, right? You wanna make sure you have it turned on, which I'm sure you feel now. All right, big deep breath in with me. Exhale. Two more just like that, big deep breath in. Exhale. Last big deep breath in, paired with a big smile. Exhale and bring your hands together. Amazing job today, team. Thank you so much for joining me for this standing core work. And I love doing it at 23 weeks pregnant so that you know you can do it at any level. Anybody can do a standing core workout. I chose for lighter weights today. If I wasn't 23 weeks pregnant, I probably would have increased it a little bit more. So that's how you tweak it. Please let me know if this is something that you think would be a value to add in. It's super stackable for all of our workouts because I will include an intermediate and advanced session coming up in a few weeks. If you love it, mix this in a few times a week, two to three, feel the benefit, start to feel the recruitment of your core even more. I promise you, the more you can increase the core stability and strength, the better your workouts are gonna feel, the better your results are going to look. All right, you guys, make it a great rest of your day. Mwah. Love you all.